space.
G'day. How's it going? Tezza, Dad, how's it going? How are we doing? Okay. Hope we're going good. We're doing these daily races today. Um, not the best selection, I'll be honest, for perhaps what could be the very, very final week of daily racing in Gran Turismo Sport. I will admit, though, I do actually think there'll be races next week. So, have I just clickbaited? Absolutely. But they're not confirmed, so I think there's reason to speculate that there may not be races next week, but there could be, and I think there will be eventually, because GT7 doesn't release until Friday, so what are they going to do for five days? Ray, g'day. First time I've seen you in chat. Welcome. And Tezza, g'day. How's it going, mate? Okay, well, I was actually doing some of these races earlier, about an hour ago, because I, I woke up really early today. I've been productive. I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't say productive, but on a regular day where I don't work, I normally wake up at about this time. So if, uh, it's it's ten a.m. ten a.m. my time right now, ten o two technically. So I'm normally waking up and getting out of bed and having breakfast at this time, but. I just woke up really early this morning for some reason, so I got up and I've been humming around since about 5 o'clock. Went for a bit of a walk, got home and it was about 8 o'clock. So I jumped on to some daily races and uh, we find ourselves here. So I feel like I've had a very productive day. But anyway, this race kicks off in... Uh, six and a half minutes. So we'll jump into this race. Um, let's go in the Supra to start with, but we may give this BMW a go. And we'll jump, uh, we'll chuck this on. Let's do that and do that. Beautiful. Hello. Alrighty, well do let me know if the music is, uh, sorry, let me know if the game is too quiet, or if my voice is too loud, but I think the mixing should be fine. Beautiful, alright, so you can see I was on my other account, you can see I'm on my other account here. I've got a 36-1, which I'm actually not too unhappy with in terms of about half an hour practice. So, um, if you have a look at the top 10, it's a 35-5, which just about makes it into the top 10 for the region. I'm only six tenths off. Scotty! Hello! How are you doing? I suppose it's a little bit better for you, Scotty, with the earlier stream. It's good, isn't it? Alrighty. I well, may as well upgrade these. They probably don't do anything with Bop on, but we'll do it anyway. Ah, oh, beautiful, man. You have no no idea how how comforting all these yellow locks are. It's so comforting just seeing everything locked. You can't change it. Oh, it's beautiful. So, our online championship season that's going on at the moment is um, the Road to GT7 series. And that's all tuning races. So you're mucking around with all those settings and it's really tedious. It's part of Part of the reason why I like Gran Turismo so much is it's just you, you jump on, you're in the same car as everyone else, or you should be anyway. But all, all the tuning's done for you. And I mean, the option's there for those who want tuning, but in terms of online racing, it's fair. You don't have to muck around with any of it. It's so good. But then Road to GT7, they've just chucked in all these tuning races. So now, oh, look at that. Start the stream off with a crash. Let's forget that ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
perfect time. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, I thought I'd jump on and stream because I was doing the daily races with the thought I could make a video later. But, I don't know, I don't really feel like it. Besides, we had this we had this combination a few weeks ago and I made a couple of videos on it back then. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of Group 3 at Dragon Trail. A lot of Group 3 at Dragon Trail and I thought, we'll just chuck a stream up for a few hours and then I'll have lunch and go and practice for the Road to GT7. That's for Saturday. But yes, apologies that there's not been as many videos as normal recently. It's just been... I've been quite busy. And also, honestly, this Road to GT7 is taking up a lot of my time now because the cars with the tunes on quite difficult to drive and quite difficult to master, so it's taken me a while to kind of get up to the pace. But, to, to be fair, it's been reflecting in my results. I've been... the two rounds I've done... I got very good results for me. Very good results in the first two rounds there. Nice line. <laughs> You're not talking about my little excursion before. Afternoon, g'day Brian. How's it going, mate? Okay, 37-1. Second off what I did on my main account. I'm on my second account, by the way. And no, the livery is not the same as the one in the thumbnail. Get clickbaited. So are we all excited for Gran Turismo 7 then? Obviously that is the, the customary conversation we're going to be having, isn't it? I'm excited. There's pictures going around of like it ready, ready to go in retails, in retail outlets. There's like leaked pictures of the of the cases and stuff wrapped in plastic in um, in like the back warehouse of retail shops so we're very close now as of tomorrow it's one week so I'm going to be up bright and early on Friday I'm to my local retail outlet to pick my copy up And straight on home to get it installing. I think I think I need a touch of brake through that first left hander. Well that's gonna be it. We're gonna be going into the race with a 37-0. Shouldn't be too bad though. Because obviously it's a lot earlier in the day than I'm normally playing. Normally I play sort of after lunchtime. Oh, almost a good chicane if the front end didn't jump up in the air. So I imagine a lot of people that normally play are either going to be at school or at work. I'm one of the weird ones that has their weekend in the middle of the week. Is GT7 going to be worth it on my lousy PS4? Scotty, from what I can see, 
the game is going to be largely similar for the two consoles. Um, from what I can see, that is. But obviously the PlayStation 5 is going to have some upgrades compared to the PlayStation 4 version. But I think in terms of game functionality, the actual substance in the game, I'm pretty sure it's it's going to be pretty much the same across PS5, PS4. The big upgrade for PlayStation 5 is obviously going to be the ray tracing. So really realistic light. Sort of the way light behaves in real life will be somewhat accurately modelled on the PlayStation 5 version. Um, and like, is it a better frame rate as well? Correct me if I'm wrong, but something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think you'll be missing out on too much on your PlayStation 4, Scotty. So I'd probably, I'd probably say get it. I'm pretty sure, also correct me again if I'm wrong. Um, if you buy the PlayStation 5 version, do you also get do you also get the PlayStation 4 version with it? So, for example, Scotty with the PlayStation 4, could he buy the PlayStation 5 version, use the PlayStation 4 code for now, and then if he later upgrades to PlayStation 5, he can just play the same same disc? Because obviously that would be the ideal scenario. You wouldn't want to have to pay for the game twice. Uh, Tez, I'm just going to race my controller, my wheel is a tad annoying. No worries, all good. Are you even here? Tez, mate, you're not even in this race. What's wrong with your wheel at the moment? It's not thrown in the towel now, has it? If you can't afford a PlayStation 5 or can't get one, yes. If you can afford, then find a PS5, then the PS5 version is way better. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be obvious advantages to having the PlayStation 5, but I, I, in saying that, I don't think you'll be missing out on too much for the PlayStation 4. If you buy the disc 25th, you get a PS4 download voucher. There you go, Scotty. I recommend you do that, because, um, oh, I forgot to go. Someone's walked away from their controller. <laughs> oh, Tez, you're in the naughty lobby. What have you been up to then, mate? Oh. Oh, mate, what are you doing? Come on, I'm losing the leader. I suppose it's not his fault. I've got to get past him. Pretty sure last time this came up, we were on the soft tyres. We're on the mediums this time. Alright, no worries. Hey, 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 hey. Be careful through here. I don't want to crash. Like that guy did. Oh, that was risky. this side. Alright. Pulse it is in third now. A little bit deep. Oh, that was close. I don't think he did that on purpose. That was just awkward.
Thanks for the suggestion. No worries, Scotty. Happy to help. Ooh, it'd be die for the millennium if he did. He went for that. close. Oh, I'll see you later. Alrighty. Just put in two good laps now. No mistakes. Let's go. Yeah, I would definitely I would definitely recommend the making sure you have the boat both PlayStation 5 and 4 version. Because you know, judging from the amount of time we had to wait between Gran Turismo 6 and Gran Turismo 7, I'd say 7 is going to be their, their flagship title for a good few years. During which I'm sure you can eventually get your hands on a PlayStation 5. to spin then. You could see how I touched the grass on the outside of the curve and the car just jolted a tiny bit like it was going to do the, the classic Gran Turismo auto spin. crash behind. I could probably honestly crash at the chicane here and still win the race. We'll leave that up to speculation though, ideally. Lovely, lovely, beautiful. It's not responding quick enough, something off. That's strange. Give it a, if you haven't already, give it a full reset, power off, unplug from the PlayStation. Sometimes my, sometimes my Logitech goes funny and the, it feels like the force feedback like halves and I have to turn the wheel so much to get the car to turn. It's almost like the sensitivity halves for some reason. I've got to unplug it, unplug it from the PlayStation and let it all calibrate again. Ryan, yes, and it was a daily C. You had to use softs and mediums. There you go. There you go. Bingo. Nice. Nice win. That chicane is your personal playground. <laughs> oh. 
What what a comment. See, the chicane is one of those things. It's a love-hate, because when you get it right, oh, does it feel good. But when you get it wrong, oh, does it feel bad. <laughs> Done it five times. All right, yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's drama in chat. Shall we have a look? Might as well tell him. All right. <laughs> oh, that is so cheeky of me to do that in, in that chat then. Um, what are we doing? Library. Ballistic Ben, g'day, mate. How you going? Have you been in the daily races this week? I know you, you don't mind a bit of daily racing. That was very cheeky of me to try and get him into the into the stream chat here. <laughs> oh dear, so it was that Takop Chan guy and Where's the other bloke? The guy in sixth. Okay. I tell you what, GT7 aren't gonna have these black bars. They're not gonna have the black bars, it's gonna have clear with the water with a watermark down the bottom. Uh, although I think it's like this on here due to um, PlayStation 4 um, limitations. But yeah, the more powerful system will help. Okay, so the guy in second. Yeah, Chad is the part that sucks about GTS. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he was all good up, up until here. Oh, that, that's what I wanted to see. Because I think I said, hey, hey, yeah, watch out, because he was sort of pushing me onto the curb. But I think I think it was all fair game. He defends there. That's all good. Oh, he's, he's not turning left. He's just got the old diagonal braking line. But that's fine. Decent defense. Missed school. Well, that's all right, isn't it? As in, oh. As in, you were late and you decided not to bother. Oh, what the? Or, um, have you been rained out? I know there's a bit of wild weather going on on the east coast, Australia, at the moment. It's supposed to be pelting rain today, but it's currently almost sunny. He's a bit wide there. That's so weird, isn't it? Look how... There's obviously a bit of lag there, because look how far away from the barrier he is, and then he goes bang. Weird. Anyway, uh... Ken? Oh. Almost spins it. Oh, oh, is there a bit was there contact there? Oh man, that's that's a strong move. Try to work out where their niceties exchanged here. No. Alright. 
Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, so he bins it there. Bride tires get past. I bet he's glad tire wears off. Get it. But, um, Alright, so what happens here then? I'm not too stressed about um, not making the next race because I can always practice or do a different race. Oh. It's all fine. Sort of all fine so far. We won't be able to do anything here. That's, we'll, we'll keep watching, but if this is the move he's talking about, it's his own fault. He went too deep himself. Oh. Has he lifted off the brakes? Have a look at his brake trace. Oh, you can't really see it. I don't think it was that bad, to be honest. Unless he punts him here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that'd that do it there. He breaks very late. It's hard to say whether that was an accident or deliberate. I'd say it maybe wasn't an accident because he doesn't give up the position. Flash of the hazards. That's not enough. Something that annoys me about the hazard use. Well, let's see if we can make it to the next race. Come on! Oh, yeah, we'll get in. Easy. Okay. Something that annoys me about the hazard use. The hazards are good, you know, a little apology or whatever, work with me, bump draft. But, like, when someone full-on bumps and runs and they're like, oh, I'll just flash the hazards, it's all good. No, it's not all good. You've got to redress that. Freezing ice storms in the US right now. Jeez. Ballistic Ben, 8.30 and it's sunny. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Freezing cold. <laughs> I see what you did there, Scotty. I see what you did there. Loopy, g'day. How's it going? Not sure what the issue is here. I don't really think there was that much of an issue there, to be honest. The the Ken Ken Oath called out Tacketan or whatever his name was in in chat at the end, saying "dirty." Um, so I I went and had a bit of a squeeze at the replay. There's not too much that goes on really. Um, Ken started sixth, Tackett started second, or think I think or third. I think it was third. Um. Tackett made a mistake at the chicane, which put him, brought him back in front of Ken. Ken went for a move, went too deep, and he switched him back on the way out. And then at the end of the race, um, on the last lap, Tackett got it all wrong at the chicane. Ken caught back up, got past, and then into the last corner. There was a bit of a punt, but I, it's hard to say whether it was deliberate. Because it's not like he broke and then like lifted off. And then broke again. That would tell me it's deliberate. It's like he just breaks too late. But he um, sort of didn't give the position back after that. So, I don't know. It's just the hazard use. The hazard use after punning someone to say sorry, even if you stay ahead of them, is frustrating. Like, it's, anno it's annoying to look at. Because it's just like, bro, you can't just punt someone and then flash the hazards and it's all, it's all good. Or it's all good in the hood. 
Tezar in second, Ballistic Ben in first. Couple of stream snipers here. Gotta stay hydrated. I've got two bottles of water. Check DC. Oh my god. Alright, let's get some practiced practice in. Ballistic Ben off pole position. I gotta say, mate, you're quite quick in these daily races. I'll give you that. I really, really think if you also did the online championships, you'd be, um... <laughs> he watched the video! <laughs> Miss if you re-swerve to block. Ah. Alright. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I I did see the little bit of swerving in the tunnel, but if he was trying to block, he didn't do a very good job of it. Is he kind of like half half asked it kind of thing? And then um yeah, you know, I mean, obviously he punted. I don't know if you're still watching. Obviously, he sort of hit you a bit wide at the last corner. That's not really on. Whether it's an accident or not, because if it's an accident, you just redress it. That's and then it's all good. Past this bloke. Actually, this bloke's the pole sitter for the last round. Oh, Tez! Oh no, I've hit him wide. Now I'm dirty. Oh. Oh, he's, oh, he's cooked that on his own there. Oh, I tried to go. I thought the gap would open up there. Hey! Come on! What was that? Come on! Oh, why am I breaking there? Probably because I'm out of sequence. Okay, let's settle again. Scotty, uh, the replay doesn't lie, mate. You can say that again. Little known fact, GT Sport replays are actually fully admissible in court as evidence. Fully admissible. You can recreate your car accident on GT Sport and submit the replay to Judge Judy. Oh, Tez is letting me through. Was it his fault? I don't think it was his fault. I thought it was smurfing your mum. See, this is where you flash the hazards to say thank you. Wait. At least they're all sort of bunched together here. 
should be one almighty scrap. Oh, Tez did a Tez. Harsh. Okay. Oh, we haven't touched that curb there, so we've just understeered. But that's alright. Darren, are you going to defend? Yeah, kind of. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. What a... Was that my fault? Oh, don't slow down into here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Ken back, back through. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to have a look at the replay. Smurf in P1. Oh! <laughs> How did that happen? Oh! Oh, I'm here. Alright, well, there's a bit to analyse this time, isn't there? Oh! I kind of turned me in in like a weird... A weird way. Also, Darren there has got a Tichney Community Racing livery on. Oh, Ballistic Ben's back up into the lead. Oh, Danny, g'day. Morning smock. Live a bit early. Oh, early by what I normally do, but... I woke up early today and I've sort of... I was gonna sort of make videos, a couple of videos on the daily races, but I thought, oh, I think I'll just stream it instead. No, I don't have to bother. Oh, bit of oversteer. What time is it for you, Danny? First tenth in one turn, rip. Oh, what's going on here? I want to see if I punted him. Nismo Nace Noodles. Hello, hello. It's smoke screen, Henlo smoke and all. Hello. Nismo, mate, your... Your YouTube video that you just posted, the, um... The meme video was extremely hilarious. <laughs> Oh, it was so good. Clean race? How did I get a clean race? 
I forget who I went into the back of. I think it was Darren. I think it was, yeah, Darren and Ken. Whoopsie. Tez is out of here. Oh, he's down to A. Bloody hell. Oh, I went up. Maybe I, maybe I didn't hit him. 8.40 a.m. I just woke up really early today. So I, I've, I like went out for a walk. I was out, out walking at sunrise, which was nice. It was kind of cloudy, so I didn't experience the full sunrise. Did I save the replay? Oh, did I save the replay? Already got ideas for part three. Get it done, mate. Just, just FYI, Nismo. Can consider this a full um full consent to any future use of of any any bits of me in your videos <laughs> because that a cameo was quite funny. Did I now? Did I save the replay? I did. Okay, let's have a look. Am I dirty? That is the question of the day. I want to know why the race was so slow. We're about to find out. Well, first thing I want to check, I had a weird little incident with a couple of drivers. Someone in the pit lane there. Did you see that? <laughs> no, no worries. Yeah, just go ahead. Use, use my voice. I don't care. As long as it's not slander. Yeah, look, Oracle Red Bull. Is he in the... That's weird. It says he's in the pit lane, but he's on the track. Anyway. Oh, oh yeah, what happened to Tez here? Oh, just got tripped up on the curb. But he sort of kept it. Oh. He could have easily ended up in the barrier there, so... saw what happened there. I tried to go for that gap on the inside there because I knew he was going to come back across, but it didn't it didn't quite happen. Oh. Okay. Tez, mate. What are you doing? Okay. I don't think that was his fault. Goodness me. Oh, that, that's so hard to tell. That's so difficult to tell whether there's contact there. He's on the brakes there, which is on time. And so is he. Don't know. It looks like there was. Anyways, got to get back to it. Just saw you alive and thought I'd say g'day. No worries, Nismo. <laughs> I realise I'm not live at the most opportune time of the day. Um, so that that's all good. Thanks for dropping by. Ah, well. That is why we're on the second account. Because I'll be completely honest... I don't really care that I got uh, hunted there. It was difficult to say. Either way, it would have been an accident, so it's all good. Alright, what do I do here? Now... Oh yeah, there's a hit. Yeah. There is a hit there. 100%. Oh, well, now I look like a clown. Yeah, I just sort of went to break at my normal spot. 
not where it, you should break if you had slip. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Ken. They, it looked like they were just fighting up the front here, Tez. I mean, look how awkward that gets. That'd be why the, the race was very slow. <laughs> Dirty smock confirmed. Unfortunately, yes, that one was my fault. Be fair, I did feel a small touch. I think there might have been. Just the slightest of touches to give you a couple of extra Ks. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. It's okay, I killed someone too, so. Let's clean the slate. Clean the slate. Let's try and improve this qualifying time. I can go a second quicker. I've done it on my other account. Oh, I tell you what I found this morning out of my walk. There's a car park sort of across the road. There's like a... Um, like the residential... Um, a residential apartment block car park and it's like it's not they're like car ports sort of behind a wall you go into a driveway go into a driveway and like turn the corner and there's all car ports around and there's there was a car with a car cover under there went up to it and had a little window in the back of the car cover so you could like see the, the boot lid of the car you know what it said on the back you know what it said on the back Carrera 3.2 or something. And then I, I got a little bit closer and you could like the, the little clear window in the back you could like look down through the window. Big 80s Porsche light bar you could see. So I'm kind of waiting for the day that the owner takes the car cover off. Or maybe I'll go and visit it one day and see that it's not there and wait till they come home. Because that is very awesome. Your ASR. Ouch. Yeah, I, I got a clean race, but I punted someone. Explain that. I'm not even going to finish this lap, I don't reckon. There, there's a second. I'm not going to finish the lap. Let's see if we can at least get through the chicane. Tiny bit of time loss on the exit. Ryan, you're one of those people, mate. Um, if you haven't already, go to the Instagram account, Smokes Car Spots, and have a look at that account. You don't, you don't have to follow it, but just to give you an idea of the type of person that I am, 
go and have a look. Go and have a look at that, Ryan, because 1,000% am I one of those people. I'm, I'm the type of person... I'm the type of person that would almost want to lift the car cover up to see what was underneath. Obviously, I can't, I can't do that, because not only am I in a private driveway, I'm also touching someone else's property, so... <laughs> I'm not doing that. But God, oh, my goodness, would I love to. Kiwi, g'day. Uh, Tez, how long are you streaming for? Don't know, till I get bored. It'd probably, it'll probably end up going for over, over two hours. I'll be on again later, Tez. To uh, practice for Road to GT7. I think I just about scraped into the top 10 last night. With a 56.899. Me too, mate. I don't blame you. <laughs> I shouldn't have even been in the driveway. So... Absolutely, I'm not touching someone else's car. <laughs> I can, you can take photos of it though. I've, I, I had a look, had a look at all the laws. Made made sure I'm not breaking any laws. If it's out in public in the public eye, legally anyone is allowed to photograph it. But you can't place any advertising material on it. I don't know if you can touch it. You probably can't touch it. But you're not allowed to put any advertising material. So. I'm going to create a lobby in about two and a half hours. Yeah, sounds good. But it's weird sometimes photographing cars because the owner can be right there. Or the owner can be in the car looking at you. And it's like, well, what, what are they going to say? You can't photograph my car. And then I say, well, legally I'm allowed to. So I, I sort of try to do it without the owner seeing... But either way, I blank out the license plate and everything before I post it. Oi! Alright, fair, fair enough. Well, I've, ma I've made a hash of that. Okay, I've got work to do now. Oh, Smurf, mate. Bump and run him and then push him out on the exit. That's rough. Should make the corner there. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that's too deep. Oh, I wish I had the slipstream of the leader then. Now. Oh dear. I don't quite know what happened there. I'm in the slipstream now.
clean around the outside. It's coming back at me. Uh, let's not defend and see what happens. Getting away now, that's good. Ended up flying in a bit too deep then. I feel like that was extremely close to the barrier. Lovely. Right now I'm just going to do a race C to get SR up and rejoin, no worries. Just going to run over a few things with you later. Alrighty. GG, thank you, thank you. I want to see that move on... Was it Clockwork? Or was it Tate? It might have been Tate. Sus Smurf and Lap 3. <laughs> Oh, mate, here we go. <laughs> I'm his replay guy. I'm his, uh... 
oh, what's it called? Virtual assistant? Virtual assistant? I know I saved that one. That's, that's extremely funny, actually. Ben Red S, what's happened there? I noticed he was a bit bit down the order there. I did actually forgot I didn't even realise he was in the race, I'll be honest. Until I saw him do the fastest lap. This is daily wreck fest. Yeah, this is a bit a bit how you going. Alright, I just want to see my move first. So all, all that was fine on my on my end. I did nothing wrong there. Oh, actually, Ben's already binned it. There he is. Oh. Oh, that's he's done nothing yet. Oh. What's happened there? Dirty tires. Oh. Goodness me. I think he's got dirty tyres from this. Oh, maybe not. He kept his right-hand wheels on. I don't know. He's just got tripped up by the curb, and that's quite it's quite a big crash, that one. Anyway, uh, I just... I, Tate Skyline, here we go, okay, I want to see this. Oh, what, let's go with this throttle. I squeeze him there. Oh, no, he gets hit wide by Doset, that's not me. No, that's fine, okay. Um, And Ken wanted me to have a look at Smurf. Hey, where are... Oh, here he is, okay. Lap three. Straight up the inside. Ah. Ah, he's sort of... Sort of on and off the brake and he's just sending himself deep into the corner. tells a story. Oh, man. Look at his break. Off, on, off, on. And, oh, my goodness. Smurf, mate, what are you doing? You got smashed into the chicken by Darren, and then Dorman went for a ram and missed so bad. What lap? Previous one? No. Oh! Oh, what? What happened there? Oh, that's... What's he doing? Why is he turning right? He's trying to... Do you give it back to him? Yes. Oh, mate. Come on. Bruh. Must be... G 
juicy. This is extremely juicy. This is... This is just goss. Gossip! Okay, um... Smurf is a bit how you're going. Savage. <laughs> he was kind of doing the same to you. Must be the next lap. Yeah. Here we go. No. Oh. Down the inside. Oh, what's what the hell? Why'd your handbrake go on, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at look at the handbrake. Bang, handbrake. Oh, you, you're giving it back. Yeah. Oh, that's alright. Oh. Bruh. And who went for the door? Doorman? This, this bloke? Okay. Oh my goodness. To be fair, I don't quite think that was a ram. Or well, maybe it was. Has he missed his breaking point or was it a ram? Because... He said it... Oh... Yeah, his steering is a bit suspect. Goodness me. Do I make the next race? Yes. Shall I try the BMW? This will be touch and go as to whether I can cancel and jump back in the BMW. Daily Wreckfest has said before. Possibly the last set of Gran Turismo... Gran Turismo Wreckfests. Oh, Ken, mate. G'day. <laughs> Thank you for playing Virtual Assistant. No worries. <laughs> Welcome to the stream chat, mate. There was a bit going on in that race, wasn't there? Goodness me. Ikatosh, g'day king. Right back at you, big boy. How's it going? SR92, you'll still be in top split. You'll still be in top split. You won't be in the sin bin with Tez. My goodness, I'm in the BMW M6. This has got to be a big mistake. Fun and games as per. Ah, uh, things never change. I would say driving standards have definitely dipped in the last six months or so, I'll be, I'll be honest. Just in, on average in general. Not, not every single player's dropped, just on average I think there's more dodgy driving than there was, say, two years ago. But I think we're all sick of the game now, to be honest. And it doesn't help that we're getting the same combos every month. Like, we had Dragon Trail Group 3, I reckon, two months ago. Let's have a look, because I made videos on it. Let's have a look. There they are. One month ago. One month ago. We had this combination a month ago, and yet there are still combos we've never seen before. Explain that to me. I don't mind more combos coming up more often than others, but... Like, balance it out. What was the last time we had, like, Alsace Group 3? Alsace Reverse Group 3 is Daily Race C or something. Has that ever happened?
be trying to get on stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was some clean driving. Where is it? Ah. <laughs> uh. For those that don't know, I know, I know Ben. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Kiwi, are you in this one? More Smurf and Punt content incoming. Keep me posted, Ken. Kiwi, did you make it in? Oh, are you Mike, Mike Dog? You're Mike Dog, aren't you? Because you've got 787. Nice time, by the way, up in P2 there. I'm way back. There's me in the background. Look at that. You can see my, my six headlights flashing. And then Ken down in ninth. Beautiful band. <laughs> ben has gone ballistic, all right. Big M6. M6 big boy. Not as big as the mate. to worry about him behind. Oh, let's let's do this for turn one. Oh. Better not be there. Oh, very good. Apparently this car eats curbs. Oh, Ben, mate, you've done it again. This isn't the warm-up anymore. Kiwi out in the lead now. Don't spin. Very good. I don't want to run into the back of him here. Oh, four GTs out of the picture. I've left this guy hung out to dry now. I'll make it three wide. It's kind of worked out okay. Man, that Renault's not very good in a straight line. Which is good. It means I should be able to get him into this next corner. Shocking exit. He's not defended. You don't have to worry about that. No, we're not going through it here.
Let's hold him to the left as long as we can. Now we turn in. Look at that. Ho oh. ho. Beautiful. Alright, Kiwi's going to have to make a big mistake for me to catch him now. A bit too slow on the entry there. Oh dear, got unsettled. Joy's gonna be back in the slip now. Let's take a weird line here. I think I changed up gear too early. Oh! Oh! You see that lag? Oh, that was a bit of a better race, wasn't it? Another one bites the dust. I know, they're bloody dropping like flies. Do we try race A? Do we try the Honda? Good job to Kiwi. P1, baby. Get in there, Kiwi. Miracles do happen, mate. That's P1. Oh, Smitty. G'day, mate. Oh, will he know I'm joking here? <laughs> I'm joking, Ben. I don't mean that. GG. Thank you. Well, I don't think there's really too much to review in that race. We won't bother with the replay. Okay, I'm just going to go for a quick pit stop. I'll be back in two seconds.
I is back. Do we try this race, eh? Oh, 11.40. It'll give us some time to get up to pace. Do we give it a go? Oh, okay. Here's a conversation. Formula One. What do we think of all the liveries? What are our opinions on the Formula One liveries so far? Pretty sure all of them have been revealed except for um, Alfa Romeo. Am I am I correct in saying that, or has Red Bull not officially revealed theirs either? I think the most polarizing design has been Alpine's. Because what are they using the really, really pink car for um, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia? And then they're going to a more blue car for the rest of the season? That's my understanding. So obviously, uh, Hyperdrift, my boy. G'day. You've you've joined just in time for the most high octane racing you're you're ever gonna grace your eyes upon. Is that a, is that the right saying? We're in this absolute machine. Sixty three horsepower. 63 horsepower. Have you seen Super GT latest post? The um, Platinum Trophy one? I have. I watched it just before the stream. No, I'm not going for the Platinum Trophy, Tez, before you say anything. Oh, Instagram post. Yes, he's going to be playing the game on the second. I know. That's sort of what I asked in Atom's Discord before. Is he going to be able to play the game now? Because if so, that's cool. Yes, mate, my lunch break. Memorable. 30 minutes? Mate. 30 minutes, perfect time for a bit of time trial. And a, and a race. Absolute perfection. Alright, I watched Tijni's daily race guide, of course. So I'm pretty sure this is flat. This is flat. And then you have a slight break. Obviously, you don't downshift there. And heading down here. I hate this corner, man. Pretty sure start of the yellow. Alright, we have to be gentler on the brakes. When do I shift? I actually lose speed up the hill. Yeah, I'm kind of jelly, kind of jelly of those who have to, those who have the game code already. Because what, they got the game code now, they'd be playing Gran Turismo 7 right as we speak. Am I correct in saying that? So I'm quite jealous. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? You, um... 
Yeah, you have the game early and then release content on the second. Oh, boom, look at that. What's that going to be? Half a second by the time we get to the end of the straight? Oh, not if I hit the limiter. That's rookie. Alright, let's be gentle on the brakes down here. I'm pretty sure you brake at the start of the yellow. a big improvement. I've done rather well at not peeking at anything to do with the game, so everything will be new for me. Hashtag no spoilers. Hashtag no spoiler gang. That's interesting, mate. So, have you watched any of the trailers or State of Play? Did you watch State of Play? So you don't have, you've completely boycotted nothing. How much, how much do you know then? Do you like, know the simple stuff like, um, what the menu's going to look like? Muted GT7 in Discord. Okay. I'd be curious to know how much you do know. Obviously some stuff you can't avoid, but yeah, I haven't watched any. Wow. I find that really cool, actually. Um, oh. Hello, Ken. Follow me on YouTube, too. <laughs> too much speed through there. That's cool. That's a very... You're going to have a very unique experience, I think. Because I've, I've sort of... Oh, I've, I've gone off. Yeah, let's restart. Because I've definitely followed the bandwagon. I've watched State of Play and all that. Like, I, I have a pretty good idea of what the game's going to look like. Oh, Darren as well from the racing. Racing's been a bit naughty today. Yeah, it's been a bit how you going. I'm trying daily race A now. I don't really think it's going to be any better, but let's have a red hot go. Well, um, Hyperdrift then. If I'm going to mention anything about Gran Turismo 7, I'll... I'll let you know, so you can mute. 
in before I get pictures on the screen. What? No, I won't do that to you. You've done well then. Have you pre-ordered it? Oh, Darren. Your channel's awesome. Mate, thank you so much. That means a lot. Thanks so much, Legend. Oh, that's a bit wide. I don't know about you. I think that was a bit wide. That's just me, though. Go for gold. About to head home. Oh, that's all right. You have very good. I've uh, I've pre-ordered the disc version. I'm not bothering with the the whole play at midnight thing. I think I'd rather watch someone else. Because my thinking is, I get the game at midnight, obviously I'm going to play it. So what, obviously I'd stream it right when all the other big streamers are also going to be streaming. So why would anyone watch me anyway? So that's my thinking. I'll stream later. I'll stream later in the day when all the big streamers are asleep. Because obviously you're going to have Super GT, probably Tijni, um, a lot of the Europe Key, Key25. Z28 Gaming. Am I forgetting anyone? Mr. MCA, maybe? He's not a massive streamer, though. He, he's a video guy. And then, obviously, in Oceania here, well, Atom is definitely going to be doing it, because he's in New Zealand. He'll be one of the first people to play it. This car is actually really difficult to keep under control. Chad... Chad Rice, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't know, are there any other big... You'll have Matthew McEwen. He'll be good to watch, actually, because he'll, like, he'll be... looking at everything from kind of a top-split driver. A, a top-level driver, rather, should I say. Perspective. I think I'm, I'm breaking too late there. What a weird looking car. Bet you any money too that this is probably technically classified as a sports car. Alright, let's see if we can finish this lap, because it might be an improvement. Uh, 
Let's go down two gears here. Okay, that should be a 55. That might have been a crap turn one. Actually, I really should be lift shifting. I'm probably losing tenths per lap by not doing it. Such an awkward corner, I don't know how to take it. Turned in too late there, okay. Well, I've got a bit of a feel for it though. So hopefully this race won't be a complete disaster. I'm going to look up this car and see if it's classified as a sports car, because I reckon it is. Can you read that? The Honda S660 is a lightweight, two-seated Targa sports car. Sports car! I guess it makes sense. Okay. Ken, do you race in real life? I don't, no. Um, I don't. I wish I did. Oh, I mean, I've been go-karting a few times, but I don't, I don't do it often enough to, um, I don't do it often enough to, for the answer to that question to be yes. I haven't been in like... It's probably been two years since I last went. I'll be meaning to go though because there's, there's like a couple of tracks near me that I can get to. It's just a matter of sort of going. And like I'm not... I'm not trying to sound elitist or whatever but like the cost of going go-karting isn't a massive deal to me obviously anything other than go like higher carts that will be an issue but I sort of I have enough money to be able to go go-karting occasionally and I'll be meaning to go I'll be meaning to go it's gonna happen speaking of it's gonna happen Let's not crash. Do we need traction control? No.
You're going to make hot dogs and then come race. Beautiful. Okay. Enjoy your hot dogs. He's got the slipstream of that black car there. I'm well alongside. Oh, he's going to have dirty tyres now. I've got no issue with what happened then because I was well alongside. I was probably, I think I was ahead. Tell you what, that half second penalty is probably going to be pretty detrimental in this car. Wow, this is so exciting. What a way to finish up GT Sport Daily Races. Oh, a bit narrow there. He's, that's going to go up to a second penalty now, watch. Alright, I was just wrong. Lap of the gods, let's go. Greg Murphy, eat your heart out. That was scary.
I've just won the, the Maggiore GP. My god, that was dull, I know. But it will go down in history as my 38th win. Gotta get back to work, cheers for the race. No worries. 360 experience. That was a phenomenal race. Thanks for the race. That was a good race. That was a close one. Yeah, we'll be... We'll be leaving that one. Alright, what's this all about then? Huracan, Atenza, 4C, McGann Trophy. Do I have the Atenza? Toxic. <laughs> I'll see you in race B. Come over to race C, mate. What if I just go for a meme choice? I'll take a podium. <laughs> I'll have the Lambo. Race C is trash. Well, let's give it a chance. I don't know what car to pick. Genesis. Let's just go into Genesis. We'll have to see what the tyre situation is like. It's one of those mandatory stop, but the tyre wear is not very high, isn't it? So you can make a mandatory stop whenever you like. Am I correct in saying that? Alright, let's go. Oh, you can't see the can't see the race details here. Oh my goodness. I think it's a it's a mandatory stop. Stop, no tires, no fuel, start from the back, right eh? What is the just hard. Oh my god. Okay. Oh Genesis. Start with zero and see how we go. Five Rhea. Oh my goodness, we need to sort this out.
hang on a minute. I'm going to use my normal breaking points to start with, which is 100 meter board. I feel like I can break later. Oh my goodness! What is happening? I can't drive all of a sudden. That's better. That's the fight. That's the rear brake bias coming into play. Oh, we don't have this awful chicane at the bottom of the hill now. Just have these understeery weird conjunctions. It's the car, right? Yeah, is it a? Is the car a bit dodgy? Is it? Oh, lifted off the throttle too late. These corners won't be flat. I'm assuming. Don't, yeah, I don't think so. Oh yeah, we're back over to the left. It's like turn in on the 50. We made, we made that lap. Break later into there.
They're going to be the most awkward circuit joins in history. In absolute history. Because they're like off camber with, with um, crests during the corner. Hey, come on, let's get this bread. Crystal Lily in 16th. Do you reckon that's Hayate Lily's second account? Oh, not Tezar in 18th. Okay, who else have we got? I recognize Bon Kurabon. I recognize him. RNRR -R -R Reaper. That's a new team, RNRR. Berserk, I recognise him. I think I've seen Leadfoot before. That's about it. Look at that, I've got no qualifying time, but I'm still 15th. I'm still in the top 75% of the grid. Chins unite. <laughs> Look at that, McGann Trophy on pole. Supra on second spot. I'm going to do plus three for the race because it felt quite taily. And with the added tyre wear, I don't want to lose control of the car. Alright, so we've got a mandatory pit stop to make, but no fuel and tyres. And no, I can't drive straight into the pit lane from here. Oh, I should... Might be able to get this again straight into turn one. He's defending. Oh, there's lag. Well, that was a decent move. That was a decent move. Especially given there's lag there. I don't actually know where he is.
Oh. I'm getting bullied now. Alex gone. Oh! What's he doing? Thank you, Tez. He just ran me off the track. See what everyone does in terms of pit lane here. Is that everyone? Oh, I've missed it. Ah, oh, it's all cars on the inside. I'll go in on the next lap. as you like that move. I went a bit deep there. It's all good. Let's see. Can we get around the outside? get some definition of a switchback. No. Nah. So much understeer. Going so slow through there. Beautiful. Oh, yellow flag. What's happened? No tires, no fuel. So that's everyone that went into the pits on lap one. They've overcut, or undercut rather. And I've driven off the track. I might get a penalty for that. No penalty, but dirty tyres. I don't know what Jag... Jaggy was done behind. He's three seconds off now. Did he change tyres?
just got caught up behind good old Terry. There's no contact there. There's a decent move. Decent move by Terry. Guess he's not so terrible. Oh. <laughs> gonna have dirty ties so whatever he does oh sorry Goodness me, I just got run out onto the grass then. Pop back in for less than two minutes and I crack that joke. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I actually write all of Jerry Seinfeld's material. He actually doesn't write any of his jokes, he just delivers them. Oh, turn! What's your turn, please? Thank you! Oh, Tez is right, this race sucks. Oh! I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I broke too late or if I got punted. BRB crying.
Yeah, this race, absolutely awful. Worst race in history. Oh, that's a penalty now. I want to go back to Daily Race B. Oh my goodness, this is just absolutely painful. That finally felt like a decent turn one. Oh, Atom, g'day. You're actually live now, yes. Yes, sir. Strange, isn't it? This is what I mean. I woke up early today. I woke up early, so I'm being extra productive. So I thought I'd, you know, do some... Oh. This is so painful, this race, man. Sheep making the most of time off. Yes, sir. And that way I get a bit of content out of the way. So I've been a bit slack. I make a bit of content during the day. Jump off, have some lunch, and then I can practice for Alsace all afternoon. Productive. You heard it here first. Productive is my middle name. So you at work at him. How's it going? It's a Japanese civil war. Oh. Gonna be streaming Alsace. Probably not. No. I like to do my championship race practice at a solo. Help me concentrate. I can do the daily races on stream, though. I need to be able to focus on practicing for a, for an important race. Whoa! Perry keeps missing the turn into that corner. He's going all the way over to the left. Oh, that wasn't my fault.
I think there's shenanigans happening behind. Yeah, sorry Terry, that one wasn't on me. I was up the inside and you broke and turned across. That's what happened there. Alright, he's done a good job to park that. Man, that car's slow in a line. But it's so good through all the corners. Oh, the understeer is horrendous. Horrific. Okay, he's got the left indicator on. What does that mean? He's staying to the left? Okay. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Saw that coming from an ice age away. There's a new uh, measurement for you, an ice age. I actually like to measure all the time in ice ages. So when I do my cooking, I make sure to bake the cake for 0 0.000000035 ice ages. Tell you what, they forecasted it was going to be absolutely pelting rain all day. And so far it's just been like tiny little showers here and there. So I actually didn't quite like the rain. As long as I don't have to go anywhere. Okay, don't downshift. Hyundai has said it doesn't like it. I somehow still went up positions. I started 15th. I'm con consistent at the end. Zerk has a Williams eSports livery. Oh, mate. You're not supposed to do that, right? I don't think you're supposed to do that. Take it back to one lap too late. Oh, yes. I did go one lap too late there. I sort of wasn't... My reactions weren't fast enough kind of thing. The pit lane came up too, too short. Because I was going to go in at the end of lap one, but they're all cars on the inside. So I kind of let off, and then by the time I... By the time I got myself ready to move over, the pit lane was gone. So, yeah, definitely one lap too late. I reckon we do that one more time to see if we can actually improve on anything because there's a lot to improve on.
I'm going roast beef. No worries. I'm going to do one more of these. And then probably go to roast beef after. I might do a couple of those and then call it, call it there. Racy sucks. I'm starting to think the same thing. And the understeer is just horrific in this car. Good old Hyundai boys. I think I'm getting on the power too early. And it's causing the car to understeer on exit. Let's try being a little bit more patient. Don't you finish that lap? Yes, 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 yes. Man, I want to go to third for rotation, but the car doesn't take the gear. Try and turn in a bit later. Maybe. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, I think I'm apexing too early for that last turn. That might be why it feels so horrendous. And I broke too early then. It's... I'm not in the right car, I know that. So that won't be helping anything. Oh my god. I'm just driving like an idiot now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I reckon we can pull it pull it together in the race. I think I'm also starting to get hungry for lunch, so that might be impacting my performance a little bit. Okay. Oh, Tezar's back in the 86. Funny looking race B, Tez.
You're the guy in seventh. Iron bottom sound. It really makes you wonder how people come up with their gamer tags. But I mean, someone could look at uh, four meters underscore smock and wonder where that comes from. And there's a perfectly logical origin story for that. So I guess iron bottom sound probably has a logical origin story too. Oh, is it IBS? Is that what it actually stands for? That'd be it, wouldn't it? Everyone thinks it stands for irritable bowel syndrome. It actually stands for iron bottom sound. But Iron Bottom sounds a bit of a mouthful, so we can call him IBS for sure. Well, you wanted to do another race, see? <laughs> this is true. Alright, let's win this one. Let's win this one. Let's win this one for my family. I can't even take myself seriously saying stuff like that. Change up gear, please. Thank you. See you later. Oh, I could have so easily got caught up in that. Oh! Uh, I'm right on the exit apex here. That's not cool. Oh, where is he? Oh, I've crashed anyway. Oh, oh, oh no. Whoopsie daisy. This is why I don't like starting from the back, because everyone's very tentative. And I end up killing people because I can break later. Let's see if we can get past him properly this time. Oh, I should have gone into the pits. Oh, this race has already gone down the toilet anyway.
mate. I know, Ted's, don't say anything. I know what I've done. I've killed this poor bloke behind me. Thank goodness only three of you saw that. Oh, that's not the racetrack. Oh, it's our mate IBS. Goodness me, he's, he's off. I'm going to do whatever this car doesn't do. I cannot get that corner right. I just can't.
I think that's the best final turn I've done in a while. Catching up to Raccoon here. We'll be in the slipstream in a second. I think we're gonna be in the slipstream now, yeah. Okay. Be careful down here then. Alright, very good. Are you seen to the pit lane, is he? No. Other people are though. Oh, that was a smooth little um, maneuver from me. Hopefully they fight behind there.
Going a little bit better than last race, except for the murder I did at the start. How far up the road Tez is? He's probably fifth, maybe. Ooh, I could have committed to the power a lot earlier. I think I gave myself dirty ties out of that flip flop on that occasion. Right, one lap scrap with Bakurabon here.
Oh. He's cooked that. I understand what he did though. He, he thought he may as well have a red hot crack because the worst he can finish there is ninth. Unless he loops it. Oh dear, that was a rather dull race, and I'm probably not going to be doing this race C again. Oh, who, who was the SLS? So I have to apologise. Oh, Alma DNF'd. Takachan blocked me so late. Where, where are you? Oh, you got second, mate. Well done. I'm trundling around eight seconds behind you. I killed someone lap one, which obviously tainted the whole race, but um, I don't know, top 10 I suppose you got past him though so fair play oh dear I'm thinking one race B and then I might call it I think, because I am hungry and I think my driving is going downhill because I'm running out of energy I need some food Where's well done? The crystal lily too. They came from the back. Oh yeah, the SLS is um I would have apologized to you. I'm sorry. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, it's 13 minutes away. Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> I do not think I can be bothered. But that's... I might call it there, because I'm hungry. I want to have some food. And we've been going three hours, so there you go. But look at that. Potentially, the last set of daily races in Gran Turismo Sport. And oh, what a boring set they are. Try the Alpha, man. It's faster. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is, but... I'm quite inexperienced in the alpha. I'm not um, not that comfortable in it. And I'm also really hungry and I want to go and have lunch because it's currently 1pm for me. And it's still not raining. I just wish it was raining. Like it's supposed to be. But it's not. But I have to say, quite a boring set of races. I mean, how far off was this quick quality time here? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Two seconds off. <laughs> Over two, two and a half seconds away. Goodness me. I mean, I set that in 15 minutes. This one here, it's a second off what I did on my main account. I mean, you can see my main there. 36-1, and I did the 37-0. There's Ashton, GT. But anyway, that's, that's it. Honda S660. Maggiore, Dragon Trail Seaside, Kyoto Driving Park. Quite the cumbersome, unflavorful, bland set of races to f potentially finish off GT Sport. We'll see what happens next week, but I think next week is definitely going to be overshadowed by the fact we've got Gran Turismo 7 coming out on Friday. That's going to be pretty, pretty insane. But... As for this stream, early stream, so something a little bit different. I do thank everyone for sticking around. Sorry those last couple of races weren't the best, but I think we had some some good fun at Dragon Trail in the end. So I think this stream was worthwhile, but I'm probably going to wrap this one up here. So I'd like to thank every single one of you for watching. Do keep an eye out for some more content and more streams. Uh, mainly the Alsace Road to GT7 round that will be happening on Saturday. I'm going to be racing that. And hopefully getting a video to you Sunday. We'll see how I go. We'll see how I go for Sunday. But anyway, that's going to wrap this stream up. So I do thank.